So we have a problem. Our 1972 Ford Mustang convertible was showing signs of engine overheating, or at least that's what these instruments showed us. But what's interesting is the temperature gauge would go up to a very nerve-inducing um, hot side, but also the gas gauge and the oil pressure gauge would also go up. And in doing a bit of research, all of these instruments are fed by a instrument panel voltage regulator or um, cluster voltage regulator that plugs in right here. I'll show it to you in a second. And uh, it's got 12 volts going in and it's got what averages out to about five or six volts coming out. It basically pulses the 12 volts on, off, on, off and on a regular cycle or so it's meant to. But um, when they're failing, if they're on all the time or they're pulsing erratically, you're gonna see some strange things happening across those three gauges. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna flip on the power supply. We're gonna put 12 volts into here. We've got return ground off a of case of this little gadget right here. You can actually hear it buzzing in the background. And we're gonna take our homemade handy dandy trouble light, because we're waiting for the other one to come in from Amazon. And that's 12, what 12 volts this looks like there. Now on this other side, it should be a nice, regular, non-erratic, Give it a little tap, not looking good. So that's some, there's an old 50 year old mechanical part in there. So it's uh, perfectly reasonable that it's not still behaving, but that is the cause of our woes. And when you have an erratic input voltage going into your sensors, uh, your gauges are gonna behave erratically as well. So bad news is we need one of these new parts, which is about 30 bucks you can get a solid state version that doesn't rely on sort of the mechanical tungsteny things. Um, and uh, by replacing that, hopefully we'll get a much more reliable reading on our uh, temperature gauges. Thanks for watching.